Let's talk, Tanya, for the second of Teves of a leap year. In yesterday's Tanya, we explained that a relationship with Hashem is only possible through using the tools that God gave us to be able to create that relationship, and that is studying Torah and doing mitzvahs. We also explain that the feelings that we have for God or the perceptions we have of God do not create a relationship, which leads us to the question, are our feelings about God even important? And we know they are because the Torah tells us there's a mitzvah to develop a love for God, there's a mitzvah to develop a reverence for God, there's a mitzvah also to understand God, but why are these important if ultimately all that counts is doing a mitzvah? That's where the relationship is, or studying some Torah. So the Rebbe explains that, yes, doing a mitzvah creates a connection with God. It closes the circuit, so to say, and creates that connection. But what is connected to God? My garments, I put up a mezuzah, my hand is connected to God. But me, my core, the core components of my soul, my feelings, my perceptions, they remain outside of that connection because they're not involved. How do I get myself connected to God? Yes, a mitzvah creates a connection, but how do I get my core, my, the core components of my soul connected to God? And the answer to that is, when I contemplate, I understand the greatness of God. And that leads me to have feelings towards God, love for God, awe for God. And then motivated by those feelings, I do a mitzvah. So that mitzvah that I am doing within that mitzvah, that mitzvah is the garment. What is contained within the garment is me, my understandings, my feelings. And because that mitzvah creates a connection with God, so I am also connected to God because I am in that mitzvah. My feelings are in the mitzvah. My understandings are in that mitzvah. And the entirety of me becomes connected to God. So yes, the connection is through a mitzvah, but it's also important to develop those feelings for God. In tomorrow's Tanya, we'll see how based on the understandings we have in this chapter, we'll be able to resolve a, seemingly, a seeming contradiction in the words of our sages in Pirkei Avis, in the ethics of our fathers.